and here is my fourth grader. So this is Miette, and she's going into fourth grade. And so I'm going to show you what we're using for her curriculum. Um, she's kind of all over the place with levels and grades. She is, so nothing is like fourth grade curriculum, but that's okay, right? It's all right. We just go at our own pace, So and everything is different. Every curriculum is different. So um, she's just at where she, she's, where she needs to be at in each curriculum. So we're going to go through and let you know what she's using. First one is language arts and she is using the good and the beautiful level two. Yep, so this is the workbook, and that's the reader. We haven't started the reader yet. We'll probably start that next week. But she is about, what, level 16 on this so far, because we started it at the um, end of the school year. So in the spring, we started this, and uh, we just picked it back up after, like, what, two months off we had for summer. And we've done a little bit over throughout the summer, but... Nothing big, but now we're starting to do it every day. We're literally doing our chores every day. Yeah. So, she, yeah, she's about level, um, less than 16 or 15. Less than 15. Yeah. But, I mean, the level, the lessons, it's not like one-page lessons. Like, level 15 is, like, a whole bunch of pages. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's nine pages long. So we only do little sections at a time. We'll do like two or three of these. And then the next day we'll do a couple, three, two or three or more. And then a worksheet. So that's what takes us so long, doing that. So, and she's got like a love-hate relationship with Good and the Beautiful. I love it. She hates it. <laughs> so we're just compromising and doing it. That's our compromise. <laughs> so she has to do it. She hasn't liked any language arts so far. I don't think she's, that's just not her forte, but got to do what you got to do. So that is language arts, and with language arts, um, we do our read alouds, our morning time, even though morning time isn't. But um, and then she also reads for 15 to 30 minutes, and yeah, that's it for language arts. Oh, well, I guess it's kind of language arts is spelling. We are saying this. Fun school. We've never really done a, um, we've never stuck with a spelling program, but we're going to do the fun schooling spelling journal. So you just walk around the house and find 10 six letter words, 10 five letter words, 10 four letter words. So just so you're aware of spellings and she's just writing them down. Nice and easy for spelling. And also, I want to add in when we don't have a Heavy duty, good and beautiful day. I like to add in these MoFat Girl printables. So I will just print off a sheet, and it's just a little bit of grammar and um, language arts mixed in, and I'll just throw that out there, just for her to do, because I like worksheets. But and cursive for our handwriting, we are still. Last year she did the. Um, it took her the whole year to get through that much of this book because she did one section at a time. So now we're actually finally on the words, the cursive words. So she's just each day going through and write, rewriting them and perfecting her writing well, for cursive. So that's what we're using for cursive. Next up, kind of like with language arts, is we are going to do Brave Writer again. We did it last year. I think we did it for the past two years, Brave Writer, Arrows. So we're going to start that up again next week because we are reading, um, let me get it, By the Shores of Silver Lake. So we are, on this one we are making our way through the Little House series and we always do an arrow with the Little House. We love Little House in the Prairie. Yeah, they do. They really do. And we're watching, also watching it. And so we're going to do the Brave Writer Arrows. What are you doing, And we are... I'm uh, going to do free write Fridays, and we always mix in poetry tea times, yep. and 
And that's my favorite part of school. Poetry tea time. They love the poetry tea time. And we need to do more of it. And then, thank you. Um, what else do we do? Free writer. That's about it. Free write. Yeah, free write. And yeah. And another thing we do that I wanted to share is this. This is in her notebook. Luna stuff on me. Um, it's the Big Life Journal. I went ahead and bought the PDF of this, and it's just a growth mindset journal. So we are, I think you've done week one. Um, let me make sure. We might be on week two. And I also bought the challenges, like the self-love challenge stuff, so we've been working our way through that. Niet has a tendency to um, see the negative side of things, <laughs> be a pessimist to my optimist. So <laughs> we are working on ways that we can change our mindset and our thinking about things, and then it's not that bad. It's, life is just not that horrible. <laughs> you have a pretty good life. <laughs> So that's, I think that's about it for um, language arts writing. You don't do any formal writing. Oh, no, that's not it. I have something else. I'm going to, we haven't started this this week, but as the weeks go on, I'm incorporating more and more things. So uh, writing with ease, level one, I'm going to do with Mackenzie, my first grader, and me at. So I'm combining those two and... Um, doing this. I'll share more about this in my um, video. My, I'm going to do a video of what I'm putting together um, for the all the girls. So this is mainly just for fourth grade. So I shouldn't even show sharing that. Uh, let's see. What else are you doing? No. Uh, this is her free write journal. Just a journal. I need to get, I think I'm going to change this and get a new notebook because I want to get, a, she's left-handed, so I want to get a top spiral notebook so she's not on the spiraling while she's writing. So I want to, hopefully this week I'll go to Walmart and grab some top spirals to help her out a little bit. She also has another notebook. We haven't used this one yet, but this is how I've been um, doing our days. I write it down, she checks them off on the post-it. So that's how we kind of schedule our days. It's like nail polish right there. Yeah. That's how yeah. I like it. And these notebooks, I don't, like I said, I'm going to get some top spiral ones so she can do her dictation, her good and beautiful dictation and stuff. Because it's a little hard for her to write on these. I think that's, oh, and math. Math, she is, we're doing the teaching textbooks, free trial right now, and uh, we're on, well, today's day four, four, so you just finished that. Have you been liking that? Yeah. Yeah. It's much easier. Yeah. It's much easier. Is it, is it? She's doing teaching textbooks three because our math has been kind of, she struggles with math. He, <laughs> and is that third grade though? It's just level three. And I done this. Oh, yeah, she's over there coloring. And that's it for math. You're liking the teaching textbooks. I like the teaching textbooks because it kind of takes that um, tension between us away. So I'm not fussing at her or she's not fussing at me about I hating math. She can fuss at the computer. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that's it for your specific um, stuff to do. Yeah. Yeah.